So tell us, what exactly is a supermoon and what sets this one apart? So what, this, uh, what a supermoon is, is essentially the closest the full moon gets to the Earth in a year. Uh, as we know, the, the, the orbit of the moon is not a perfect circle. It gets closer and further away. And so starting uh, Sunday night into Monday, uh, we'll have the closest full moon of the year. Now, this one is historically close. The moon hasn't been this close to the Earth since January 1948. So uh, it's been a long time since the moon has been, been this close. Wow. So can you give me some stats, like how much closer will the moon be and how much larger and brighter is it predicted to appear? Sure. And this is actually a really important question because, you know, this, this supermoon is only going to be, uh, you know, a couple, uh, about 30 kilometers further from the uh, January 1948 approach. So we're not talking about astronomical distances. I mean, they're astronomical maybe to you and me, but to the moon and the Earth, that's not that much of a difference. Uh, it will, however, appear to be about 14% larger in the night sky than the smallest full moon. But maybe what's most noticeable is that it'll be about 30% brighter. So uh, Sunday night into Monday, you may see a bright light out in the sky, and that's the moon. Well, so even an amateur person who's going out to look at the moon, do you think they'll notice a difference? Uh, well, they may notice that it's brighter, but they may not necessarily notice, uh, especially if they haven't looked at the moon uh, regularly, that it's much larger. But if you start looking at the moon starting Sunday um, and look at it regularly over the next few weeks, months, uh, and even longer, you may start appreciating the difference in size of the moon as it goes in its orbit around the Earth. And especially if you take pictures of the moon uh, regularly, you can uh, notice that, that there is that difference. Actually, that takes me to our next question. Um, when should a person go out to get ready to see this spectacular supermoon, and what advice do you have for them? Yeah, so the, the, the most important thing is that really, you know, obviously if it's clear, go out starting Sunday night. Now, the, now it'll be closest on Monday morning, but uh, you know, Mondays are always busy, and so if you're unable to get out either Sunday or Monday morning, Monday night will be, will be fine. And really the important thing is to, to get out, find a clear space where you're free of, certainly of bright lights, but even uh, tall buildings or trees that will obstruct your view, uh, especially when the moon is low in the sky. Later on at night, when the moon's high in the sky, any spot's going to be fine. And I was curious, are, are you guys at NASA using this opportunity to study the moon or anything else in the solar system? Well, we're continuously observing the moon with the LRO spacecraft. Unfortunately, uh, our time is running short here, but we're always making new observations of the moon from, uh, from the uh, LRO spacecraft, which has been orbiting the moon for over seven years, dramatically changing our view of the moon and, and indeed reshaping our view of the entire solar system. Great. One last question. If people miss this supermoon, when is the next supermoon that they can see? Next time it'll be this close is uh, November of 2034, and unfortunately I've got to run now, but uh, set your calendars for November 25th, 2034.